The University of Michigan is a world-renowned institution. Go Blue is a familiar cheer that transcends cultures, communities, and continents. We're rightfully proud of our reputation, and we're always in the news. But here's one headline we never want to see. Seems a little over the top, right? But in 2014, a prominent Ivy League university and its major medical center were fined $4.8 million for a HIPAA violation. And there have been cases where employees have not only lost their jobs, but been jailed for HIPAA breaches. Clearly, the consequences of HIPAA violations can be severe, both institutionally and personally. But here's some good news. This course will provide the resources you need to be a responsible data steward and to appropriately secure protected health information and other sensitive data. Congress passed the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, of 1996 to improve the portability and continuity of health insurance coverage as people move among healthcare and insurance providers. Recognizing that this would call for an increase in the collection and sharing of very sensitive health and medical information, HIPAA included privacy and security safeguards that describe how protected health information in any form, whether written, verbal, or electronic, should be collected, disclosed, and secured. Protected health information, PHI, is health information that, one, is created or received by a healthcare provider or health plan. Two, that relates to the past, present, or future physical or mental health or condition of an individual, the provision of health care to an individual, or payment for the provision of health care to an individual. And three, that identifies or could be used to identify an individual. For example, when a patient receives treatment at the UM Health System, protected health information is created. In some cases, health and medical information about research subjects is also regulated by HIPAA. The following are just some of the 18 data elements that fall under HIPAA when combined with personal health information. How does this apply to University of Michigan? Well, it's not just the doctors, nurses, and staff at the UM hospitals and health system who need to worry about HIPAA. There are a number of ways you could interact with PHI. Here are some possible scenarios. You could potentially view PHI when helping a customer. Or maybe it's your job to maintain locked doors to rooms where sensitive data is stored. Perhaps you provide support to a researcher whose project that involves PHI data. Or you have access to systems where PHI is stored. You hear a lot about hacking these days, people breaking into systems with the intention of causing harm. Of course, we need to do everything we can to make sure our systems are as secure as possible. But HIPAA violations are often unintentional. In fact, one of the most common causes of a PHI data breach is an unencrypted lost or stolen portable device, typically a laptop. When handling PHI and other sensitive data, please keep this in mind. Access PHI only if you need it to do your job. Share information only with others who need it to do their jobs. Make sure you're working with PHI in a secure manner and using secure services and devices. Follow the golden rule. Protect the sensitive information of others the way you would want your own information protected. You play an important role in protecting sensitive institutional data, including PHI. It is your responsibility to make sure that you understand how to keep PHI private and secure. This course will provide the knowledge you need to appropriately manage PHI and avoid violations and scary headlines. Good luck and go blue!